You are watching TFI. much for waiting this long. Nonsense, Jimmy. There's plenty to get excited about. What's this video about then? Well, mate, I mentioned a few times, as I always do on the channel, that I was heading out to Autodesk University. London, this time, just past last week, 18th to 19th of June at Tobacco Dock in London. And when I mention this on the channel, I get quite a few people saying, mate, what is Autodesk University? Like, what actually is it? I read their website and it's just not necessarily fluff but they, do, they don't do a great job of conveying what it actually is. You know, they describe it as being a conference for people who design, create, and make things to get together. And that doesn't really give me a taste and a sense for what I'm actually gonna expect. And it's an expensive ticket price to get in. But what I'll do is just give you a little brief as I can make it, kind of montage, a little taster of, of my visit to AU last week, and just try and convey as best as I can what it's like at Autodesk University and what it's all about. Now the video that you're watching on screen currently is, uh, is a bit of filler really more than anything else is the CEO of Autodesk, Andrew Anagnost. Uh, this was his presentation at Autodesk University in Las Vegas in 2018. I'll talk a bit more about that in a bit but I thought I'd put that up there because his keynote speech at London last week hasn't been published yet but anyway what is Autodesk University mate? What is it all about? Well they describe it as a conference uh, and strictly, it actually kind of is, but not in the tr traditional sense of the word. When most people think of a conference, they think of a, a gathering of, of men in, in white shirts and in funny coloured ties. You know, all people who study and get excited about photocopiers and, and fax machines talking about the latest DPI technology and, and drinking tea and, and sparkling water. It's not that kind of a conference. So the best way I can describe Autodesk University is that it's got it's got three main functions right and it, it depends who you are as to what you get out of it so the first purpose of Autodesk University I guess you could say it is the learning potential so what happens is before Autodesk University in the months leading up to it Autodesk put out a class proposal which is uh, it's aimed at industry leaders people who are absolute at the top of the game in their various industries there could be people on the Autodesk expert elite roster there could be you know, C-level executives at high-flying companies, all the way down to lecturers in universities, anybody who's at the top of the game in their industry. These people put together a proposal to teach a class at Autodesk University. They write, they write up uh, like a little class description, what they plan on teaching, a rough outline of what the class is going to be, and they submit that as a proposal. All these people put their proposals together, and then us, me, you, anyone can vote for which classes you want to have at Autodesk University. Autodesk then choose the classes that they want to have and those classes get scheduled across the two or three days that Autodesk University will run. So you can, if, when you're attending Autodesk University, you can look at the class roster. There'll be hundreds of classes in some cases and you can pick which classes you want to sit on. They're normally about an hour long uh, and then you turn up and attend those classes. So that's the first main benefit of Autodesk University, these classes. And if you go to the Autodesk University website, a lot of the classes that have already happened have been recorded and you can you can watch them regardless of whether you actually attended Autodesk University or not. That's the first main benefit of Autodesk University. Second one 
is the exhibition floor, which is absolutely outstanding at Autodesk University in London. I'll flash up some uh, some video footage on screen now of the exhibition floor at London. Uh, and what happens is Autodesk invite uh, these uh, the companies. It could be Autodesk partners. It could be uh, hardware vendors. It could be 3D printing companies, laser scanning companies, all the way through to software houses, to anybody who's got any kind of an interest in anything to do with Autodesk and making things in your business and they sell a service or a product, they can set up a, a booth in a store, bring along samples and then set up on the exhibition floor. And then if, as an attendee, you can just walk around, you can sample things, you can play with uh, has CNC machines, you can play with Ultimaker 3D printers, you can play with uh, last week we had a full on Formula One VR rig set up which was it absolutely stole the show if I'm honest like everyone loved that oh, oh my god <laughs> oh, oh my god I'm so excited I'm sweating oh my oh no 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 It's up to you. You can just roam around it at your leisure, uh, and it's it's fantastic. At the London Autodesk University, the exhibition floor is significantly smaller than what it is at the main Autodesk University event in Las Vegas, but it was still uh, very, very useful uh, and informative all the same. So that's the second reason why a lot of people go is the exhibition floor. See what, see what current uh, leading companies are doing, what technologies they're delivering, what's on offer currently in the market, and then uh, just make contacts with people. Uh, which leads me on to the third main benefit of Autodesk University, speaking of uh, making contacts, and it's the networking. And this is, uh, again, equally the main reason why I go to Autodesk University is just networking. It's being involved and around everybody who's on the same level as me. Uh, I don't know about you, mate, but in my regular life, I don't know a single other person who's kind of on my level with Autodesk software, with technology, with uh, with CAD, with data management, with just the stuff that I'm in. I don't know anybody in my, my circle who's on the same page as me. So going over to Autodesk University, it's it, it's it's like coming home in some cases it's just being around people who get it and uh, and it's talking to the people within autodesk who are liaised with over the year uh, product managers support technicians uh, various autodesk partners other expert elites that are that i talk with on a regular basis who all reside in america mostly it's a chance to to meet up with them and just just hang out with them and just have a have an awesome time you get to meet people all the way from uh, you know, at support level all the way through to directors, senior directors, presidents of various software divisions within Autodesk. Uh, it's just it's just nice to be able to see these people and then put a face to a name and realize that when, you, when you're kicking off and cursing and shouting at your computer screen for it crashing again and you, you wish that Autodesk could feel your pain and they just don't understand what you go through and they just don't care and you wish you could inflict as much pain on them as they inflict on you. Well, when we meet them in person, you, you you realize they actually really do care. They really do care. And a lot of the issues that you have, they, they're, they're either working on, they understand, but they're not kind of things that you can fix with a click of the fingers. And it just gives you a sense of, of the, the human behind the screen, if you know what I mean. So it's quite good for that. Just making contacts, networking with these people, uh, and just just feeling like you're involved in the whole ecosystem. But if that doesn't tickle your pickle, mate, uh, and you want more out of it, and you need to justify the the expenditure for for getting to Autodesk University, uh, the learning experience is by far and away the, uh, the the most beneficial part of Autodesk University for the majority of people. So I've talked about the being classes people put in, uh, you know, the, the, the go through the call for proposals, Autodesk choose the successful classes. Uh, but as well as it just being sort of a classroom environment, you, you know, you get your row of seats, you've got the speaker at the front with uh, with a screen and his laptop. As well as that, there's also labs, which are hands-on sessions, and they could be for, for any industry. could be uh, around BIM, could be around Inventor, could be around automotive design, data management. But this is sort of a uh, like a sit in front of a, a, a workstation, uh, follow along the instructor, ask questions, go through examples, that kind of thing. You've got a, a helper in the lab who will guide you through various things if you get stuck. And it's just an opportunity to, to learn hands-on 
with these industry leaders. There's also free certification opportunities there. So if you want to sit the uh, the hallowed certification exams for the various products that you're involved in, there's various certification sessions lined up across the, uh, the couple of days that AU is going. So you can just, I think you have to pre-register, turn up, sit the exam, and that's all part of your ticket price. So you can hopefully get certified whilst you're at Autodesk University. That's all there for you. And then, of course, you've got the keynote speeches, which are all singing, all dancing, you know, whoop, 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 three cheers for us kind of keynote speeches where you get the CEO of Autodesk or the CTO of Autodesk and various C-levels from the biggest clients of Autodesk get up on stage and then talk about how Autodesk's benefiting their companies and what's coming and what's shifting the industry and you know disruptive technologies that are happening and their vision of the future and blah 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 so the keynote speeches are actually quite dramatic and quite insightful uh, they, they are a bit of a formality but they are quite interesting to watch and be involved in so that's another uh, key part of Autodesk University now in terms of the various Autodesk universities that occur around the world uh, there are smaller Autodesk universities, London being one of them, that happens in June. There's roughly around 2,000 attendees uh, turn up to the London event. It is quite a relatively small venue. There's also an Autodesk University in Germany. Uh, there'll be others around various parts of Asia, for example, I would have thought. But again, very, very small affairs uh, following the same kind of format, though. But by far and away, the biggest and the absolute ultimate event is the one that happens in the US and that's currently in Las Vegas happens in November that is the Autodesk University if anything is happening if anything is going to be announced that is the event to go to uh, you get attendees tenfold Autodesk employees turning up tenfold sponsorships exhibition floor size tenfold it's absolutely massive it's spectacular and I absolutely love it. It is just such a spectacle. And it's amazing to be there. And personally from the UK, I think part of it is just being in Las Vegas and the atmosphere and the environment that you're in. Uh, it's, I just, I just can't, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm definitely without a shadow of a doubt going again this year. And not just the Vegas event, all Autodesk University events, they're so classy. Autodesk do a phenomenal job of putting these things together so professional spared no expense uh, the well-oiled machine and every, when you're there you're just, you're just in awe of how they put this together it, it smacks of you've done this before and you know exactly what you're doing the events are they're just so slick seamless well managed uh, and just just well worth going if you can get your company to pay for you to go over there Look, nobody can really say to you, right, well, if you turn up to Autodesk University, you're going to get a return on that investment to a factor of 10 and you're going to be 30% uh, more productive when you return. It's not really the case, but you can justify it quite easily by just taking a look at the various classes that have been held previously. And that's a good indication of what's to come in the future. Uh, and you can say to your boss, look, the, if I turn up to these events, we're going to get a seriously solid insight as to what the latest industry trends are within our area, what our competition's up to. And then we can we can try and stay ahead of the game here by looking at these trends and enacting on them pretty soon. So anyway, I'm going to knock it on the head there, mate. I think that's all I've got. Uh, I don't want to ramble on for any longer than I already have. So I'll wrap up there. Thank you very much. Hopefully that's given you a bit better of an insight as to what Autodesk University is about gives you a bit more to think about whether or not you want to go or not uh, next event which will be Vegas in November 2019 uh, and if you go and I'll see you there mate because I'm definitely going to be heading out over there so thanks very much hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one mate Toodle.